What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today back on Giants franchise coming off yet another victory starting out 0-3 and then advancing to 3-3 and and I think if you didn't watch last episode in that victory over the Philadelphia Eagles you're gonna want to. Landon Collins balled out. Three interceptions, a forced fumble, by far the best performance of anybody ever this well this season at least so we're absolutely going to offer him a contract extension he's 24 we might offer him a pretty big deal sign him until he's 30 years old six-year deal worth uh let's just say base five signing bonus of three per year so that's 47 7 uh over these six years i'm down landon collins is going to resign He's going to stay a New York Giant for the next six years. I'll take it. 92 overall now. 24 years old. You don't have to ask me twice. Not at all. I did some shouting for the week, but today we're going into Atlanta to play the 4-2 and two Atlanta Falcons who look to shut down the New York football Giants. Stop our winning streak in its tracks. Let's see what we can do. All right, game time. Falcons, Giants. The Falcons, of course, have never won a Super Bowl. And this is where this year's Super Bowl will be played. This looks absolutely sick. That stadium looks so cool. The Mercedes-Benz Dome. Mercedes gets around. They got the Superdome. They got Mercedes-Benz Stadium, if you will. That's also a dome. I'll tell you, Mercedes really does know how to sponsor a good dome. They should, uh... Nah, we won't make it. Nah, the moment's passed. I'm not gonna make the joke. All right, I actually have my kick arc for this game. That is a phenomenal start. I put in a complaint to Clint Oldenburg, the lead designer on Madden NFL. Perhaps there's a bug fix that came out that actually fixed that. So thank you, Clint, if you did. If the glitch just happened to not occur on that one play, mm, shame on you, potentially. But we're going to constantly dial up the pressure. And I know the defense isn't that good. We still get gashed through the air. And it happens, and we just, we've been relying on both plays like... Carson Wentz just was not good last week. And that's all right. People are going to have bad weeks, and we just got to make sure that our opposing quarterbacks have bad weeks every single time we come out. I want to get this Giants defense back because it's not in a great spot right now. I want to get it back to the promised land. Give me the 1986 Giants defense. 1990, got LT. Even Harry Carson in 86. Carl Banks, Gary Reasons. I mean, the Giants have had great defenders throughout their career. I mean, your, your history. You go back. Sam Huff. Spider Lockhart. I mean, Jesse Armstead. Michael Strahan. They've had some really, really solid defenders. And Red Ellison's wide open! Go, Red! Go! Stiff arm him! Red Ellison, wide open in the flat. I guess they forgot he was a guy. Which, it makes sense. But Rhett Ellison starts us off with a huge play. Going back to the run on third down. There's Saquon Barkley picking up the first. Another seven. Are they blitzing? They're coming out of nickel double A gap. They're sending mid blitz. We're just going to check down Evan Ingram. Evan Ingram blocking from Odell's great. Evan Ingram diving into the end zone for the touchdown. His first touchdown in uh, quite some time, actually. I don't remember the last time he even scored, but we're off to a hot start. We got the kicking arc, which means I'm probably not going to be missing too many field goals or extra points this game. Now, I'm not saying it's not going to happen. I do have a tendency. I'm very bad at easy things, apparently. But, um, yeah, we're in business right now. 7 nothing over the Falcons. You're going to have to beat us through the air. My new brand of Giants football is send pressure, put heat on the quarterback, and if he beats us, he beats us. We're coming out in man. We're going to use it with Landon Collins. Can we play action? And that is that is open. Eli Apple's on Julio. Tried to rip the ball out. Didn't work. Tell you what. We're probably going to go into coaching adjustments and maybe not have Eli Apple on Julio Jones. That's, I think, going to be a pretty big thing we do. Third and six. It's going to be heat. It is going to be heat. That's mine. He's going to lob it up. No! Janoris Jenkins got beat. Julio Jones. Wow. Hey, that's a good throw. Good catch. I don't know how that got beat. 
I mean, we got good pressure on the QB. Just sending a lot of guys, and uh, just they made the better play. And Devontae Freeman oh, almost had a touchdown there, down to the one. Josh Morrow made a good tackle. It's not the run blocking that's the issue. When the CPU has the ball, I mean, they're just not decisive enough. That's why they can't run the ball effectively. I mean, part of it's our defense, but they don't run the ball well. And Julio Jones, touchdown. Atlanta's going to answer. And I felt like our defense was good up until we stopped setting pressure. And then Atlanta burned us once when we did send heat. And then there on the touchdown of Julio, Matt Ryan had way too long to wait for that streak to develop, or that slant, excuse me, to Julio. Easy touchdown, and now we're tied up. I don't know if I can keep up this offensive pace all game. Let it develop, let it develop. There it is. There it is. Roger Lewis Jr. Eli Manning throws a dot. And Roger Lewis Jr. holds on. Probably wasn't my first read on the play, but we saw him like the matchup, threw it up. Absolutely perfect pass. And I mean, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Looking at Odell, he was clearly going to beat him. Tack McKinley gets to the QB for the sack. Nate Solder is kind of a disaster on the offensive line. He really is. He's, he, you know, in game, he's older. He doesn't block well. It's not what you're looking for. Nate Solder might be on the trade block. I'm not even kidding. Not now. Probably not going to make a midseason trade. Nate Solder might be on the trade block in the offseason. Get after the QB. That's wide open. That is wide open. Julio's, Julio's going to be an issue. Matt Ryan, no incompletion so far. Got out of my space. And, uh... It wasn't going to be me anyway. That was Alec Ogletree's zone. I mean, but we need we need people to step up. We needed pressure on the QB before that. That's not what we want. That is not what we want. Muhammad Sanu now. All right, we're getting gashed a little bit here. Talking about this branded defense I wanted to come out with. I mean, but it doesn't mean it's going to work. <laughs> we still don't have exactly the right personnel. We have some good players in good spots. We're not exactly where we want to be, especially when... I'm trying to cover two different receivers in the same area, and they go to the exactly perfect time to the receiver that I'm not on. Uh, just a, a great throw, great decision, great timing. This is honestly the Steve Spagnolo branded defense. I know he's not the D coordinator anymore. It's James Betcher. But you remember OCU Manura. And, oh, man, I thought it was there. OCU Manura and Justin Tuck flying off the edge. And even in 07, Michael Strahan on that team. I mean... There were some blitzes sent, and the Giants just had great defensive personnel. Um, we need to get back to that. Field goal is good. Atlanta's going to take a 10-7 lead after the Matt Ryan incompletion, his first of the game. And we just got to come back now. What? Okay, dude. How am I on the one for that? I fair catch it in the end zone so I don't have to return it. I fair catch it. And he runs forward for some fucking reason? What are you doing? Russell... Sh I'm about to cut him. Can I cut him mid-game? Unbelievable what just happened. BW. Dante Dion. You're, you're going back there now. You're the new return man. Russell Shepard, I swear to God, I'm going to cut him right after the game. Oh, Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley. Get us out of our own end zone. He's having a game. Three rushes, 26 yards so far. That's money. Great average. Follow the blocks. If they develop, if they don't, we're screwed. And uh, they don't. I mean, Deion Jones. What do I do there? I kind of ran right into him, but I, I, I didn't I didn't have any other options. That was the hole. He just blocked it. That sucks. Oh, it's a pick! Alec Ogletree! He does the jump up thing I complain about all the time from the CPU. Alec Ogletree picks off Matt Ryan. We're back on offense. I don't know why Jonathan Stewart would be my primary handoff in any formation, but it's super annoying. 
There we go. Odell Beckham Jr. Baited Deion Jones on the in. Got Odell over the top. First and goal. Huge third down pickup. Saquon Barkley. Touchdown. We get him in with the receiving touchdown. I'll take it. It's his first ever touchdown catch. And uh, it's good enough to take the lead over the Falcons. 14 to 10. Play action. Get back. Get back. And get on it. Use your pick. Easy reads. Uh, good night, Moon. I need some more names. I'm just getting user picks all over the place. Taking the football right back. Oh, they're going to blitz. They're going to blitz. Eli, please. Please, please. It's on the money. It's just great defense by Desmond Trufant. There's no other cornerback on this team. No other defensive backs that makes that play. That's just a, that's a great play. Good throw by Eli. Got to give it to him. Just couldn't quite haul it in with Odell. And we got third and ten. We really don't take advantage of these opportunities. You gotta be kidding me, Eli. I mean, we we really don't take advantage. As Evan Ingram gets into it with Keanu Neal. I mean, we have him open. And Eli, he's killing us. That's an easy first down. I'm all over it. Stop trying to run. He's averaging 2.1 on the ground. We're just gonna clog up all the holes. There's nowhere to go. It's like being the only woman at a gangbang. It's a sack. BJ Goodson. Red play action all the way. I'm telling you. There's nowhere to go. Oh, Saquon. Bowls over one. It's only good for five. He's averaging just over four per carry. Uh, which is okay. Would obviously like more. But it's just, it's not going to happen. It's just, we really need great blocking. That's what we're relying on. Right, hopefully something gets open. Third and one. Saquon's out of the game. He's just gassed. And, um, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me, dude. I, uh, Tack McKinley's a monster. I, they send four. They send four, dude. I'm trying to get something. I'm about to lose it. Atlanta not calling a timeout for God knows what reason. I don't know what they're doing. Just get back. Play deep. Play over the top. Get back. They're not even going to snap the ball. What a confusing way to end the first half. Y'all think Saquon's going to break one at any point during this entire series? I really don't. I just don't think with the way that running is for me this year, it's possible. Like, even there. It's like, there's wide open space, and we just can't hit it. It's, it's, it's too tough. Too tough for me. I'm sure many others are great at it. I can't, I can't deal with running this year. Uh, tried to step up with Eli and look for something. It just wasn't going to happen. As soon as you get past a certain area, or, or you press right trigger, as soon as you press right trigger, the defensive line is engaging, or disengaging from their block. And just shedding instantly. It's very, very tough. It's play action. I should be there. I should be there. We should be getting pressure. He's going to throw that ball anyway. Oh my god, dude. Muhammad Sanu down to the one. What a catch. I gave that up to come back over the middle where my responsibility was. And we just got crushed. I mean, what can you say? It's just a great play. It's a great play. A Josh Morrow as well. We had to stop the touchdown. Playing clouds and just covering over the middle and hoping we dial up pressure. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Man, you gotta be kidding me. Julio Jones, touchdown. His fifth of the season. And Atlanta's gonna take back the lead at home. They've been really, really balanced on the ground uh, and through the air today, 15 and 15 with their offensive attack. And we just fell apart. I didn't have time to set up what I wanted to there. I was going to blitz Lorenzo Carter. And it, we just didn't get the heat. And it didn't even matter anyway. Because Julio Jones is Julio Jones. He got open. There's, no, there's nothing happening. It's honestly, it's just got to be... Uh, it's just got to be our big players that step up and make plays. Like Odell right there. 
Moss is Desmond Trufant almost. Really just bodies him more than a Moss. Wasn't a Moss, but bodied him. Made the play. We got to go with what we know. We got to go with what works. Oh, I wanted Evan Ingram. I still do. We're going to throw it up. Evan Ingram over the top. It's overthrown again. Eli, you are killing me, dude. Destroyed him over the top with Evan Ingram, and the ball is just not there. Let's play action. Really don't want to lose this game. But uh, I don't know. I just, it's Julio Jones just keeps getting open. That was a good levels concept that they ran right there. Where they had me committing deep, and then they just hit me underneath. Um, you know, Julio Jones. He's just good. And he's running that route really well. Couldn't get there with B.J. Goodson. Atlanta's offense has been pretty strong this game. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't... Yeah. All right. That's tough. Oh, big hit, Alec Ogletree. I need Devontae Freeman to cough up the football there. But that likely will be the end of the third quarter. I seriously doubt they snap the ball here. I don't think they're going to have time, even if they wanted to. Nope. That's going to be it for the third quarter, and we're headed to the fourth. Down by three. 17 to 14. 10 minutes to play. Third down and seven. We need the football back. That is, that's tough. William Gay gets beat. Landon Collins hit stick was survived. And then Muhammad Sanu, 31 yards to the end zone. I think Odell burned him. Odell burned Desmond Trufant. The ball's on the money and Odell drops the ball. We cannot catch a break here. gonna be intercepted I just couldn't really find anything force the ball and Ricardo Allen with the interception takes a big hit from Nate Solder but he got the pick I stared down Evan Ingram the entire time he never really got to a point of where I wanted to throw the ball nothing really developed the way I wanted it to and um, that might be the football game unfortunately definitely not giving up though this is third and goal we need a stop double Julio Jones if we have to I'll take that. That's that's fine. 27 of 14. We're down by two touchdowns, essentially. So we don't need to go for, you know, the two-point conversion. We can win the game if we score twice, you know, as far as touchdowns go, and stop them from scoring. 27 of 14 doesn't hurt us that bad. Oh, he's open all over the middle, man. Eli's got to have the longest release in recorded history. That's, oh man, I needed that so bad. Something's got to get open here on fourth down. Something's got to get open. We're throwing it quick. The, it, it's to the wrong side of him. That's, that's probably going to be the game. Sterling Shepard is open there. Eli, he throws to his fucking back shoulder. Oh, it's a play action. That and we got no pressure. And Julio Jones is at the top. Are you kidding me? Oh man, I'm freaking out. They they sent two routes on the field. We had one offensive lineman blocking like three guys. Oh, oh my god, I'm about to freak out. 35 to 14 now. Are you kidding me? That is unbelievable. We've allowed 326 total yards. I wonder how many yards we would have if we converted our opportunities. If Eli didn't miss wide open throws. If we could throw the ball when we wanted to. That's roughing the passer, maybe. If that's holding, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be really mad. It's gonna be. Oh, you're kidding me. I already threw the ball too. It's gonna be first and twenty. And I get sacked again. Tack McKinley. My favorite thing about the offensive line in this game is how when they get beat, they stand around. 
So three man pressure gets in because the offensive line are like, eh, who cares? But no one helps. It's re it's terrible. Ah, I'm intercepted. Oh my god. Really falling apart here at the end of the game. I didn't. <sighs> Deion Jones is pissing me the fuck off. I call halfback wheel. I'm looking for the post to Odell. It doesn't get open in a cover two, even though that's the that's the read. In a cover two, Odell should be open on a post. And he doesn't. I have to step up in the pocket to avoid pressure. And pick. Oh, okay. That's another touch that Atlanta is just pouring it on now. They are pouring it on. It's gonna be 42 to 14 out of nowhere. A lot of interceptions late that have hurt. Two, I think. That's maybe what three on the game for Eli. Ricardo Allen. Uh, that one I think it was Devondre Campbell. I don't know. It's probably three. That's what should have been open. Odell Beckham Jr. on the halfback wheel. But it looks like we're coming back down to earth here. Eli only has two on the game. Okay. But it was the late games that killed us. Late game interceptions that just killed us. Four minutes to play. It's gonna be it's gonna be difficult for us to come back at this point. Down 42 to 14. I mean we had it earlier. We really did. It's just it's too much now. But I mean you, you hate to see it happen like this. We just fell apart. Try the draw here. Look up the middle. There's just no way Saquon's ever getting in there. Come on, Sterling. Get in the end zone. He's down to the one. We have two minutes to go. There's just no chance for us. There really isn't. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I mean, we're going to lose some games. We started out 0-3. And, and then look at pressure, man. No one is open Oh, man, I'm freaking out. <laughs> We've been sacked six times. How do they blitz constantly and no one's open? That's how we're going to end it. Eli Manning. Just running right up the middle. <laughs> For like 20 yards. Uh, that, was a, that was a vicious game. That was a brutal game. We're really... We're back down to earth here. Julio Jones was unstoppable. We had a really good shot. Up until the fourth quarter. Things got really out of hand. Very quickly. And we had one of our best offensive performances, as sad as that is. Eli, though, I mean, I, I can't tell you. And I probably cut out a lot of it for the sake of your sanity. Eli misses like 40% like of his throws. And I know that doesn't sound like a ton. But 40% is a lot. When you're missing almost half your throws, so we have 15 for 32. How many times do we have an open receiver that was that was a drop pass or an overthrow or an underthrow or completely not even in the area? Saquon is terrible. 3.5 yards per carry because uh, I, I, there's no blocking. And in this game, you need blocking to get anywhere. And the only time you can accelerate into the open field is with right trigger. And you have to be in the open field. Otherwise, it's just running at no speed trying to find the open lane and, and there never is one with this team um julio destroyed it saquon had a receiving touchdown evan ingram had a receiving touchdown i wonder if they count drops for like actual drops yeah odell had three i guess one only one of those was a real drop defensively i mean we were okay alec Ogletree tree tackles for loss nice the pressure in this game was unbelievable Three sacks from Tack McKinley, two from Deion Jones, one from Vic Beasley. I had just no time to throw the ball. Ogletree with a pick, BJ Goodson with a pick. Force fumbles, Vic Beasley Jr. had one. Tevin Coleman recovered one, but that's not the one we care about. Tack McKinley. No defensive touchdowns. That game was so brutal. That's going to do it for me, guys. You can't win them all. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. We didn't score in the entire second half. Fantastic.